Hello. Hello, you. We're at, at home. Yeah, lockdown. <laughs> lockdown at Easter. Uh, this is a very different video to what we normally do. Um, we are Easter weekend in lockdown. It's the hottest weekend of the year. We live in the hottest flat in London, which is appropriate because we like to go to Florida and get tits wet. And I am sweating already and I'm really having a dab. We've got the fan turned on low because we can't have it uh, on high. And uh, yeah. windows and doors are shut because we've got annoying neighbours downstairs who are listening. <laughs> so this is a very different video. And um, we decided to, uh, we've seen loads of question and answers on YouTube recently. And I guess it's because everyone's locked in their houses. Um, and, and trying to make content. But we thought, you know, we're almost at 2,000 subscribers. We've been going almost two years? Yeah, is it two years? Almost two years. So we thought it was time to do a Q&A. Um, we put some uh, the request out on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. And um, wow, yeah, we got quite, yeah, we're quite chuffed with a response. <laughs> it's been quite good. Yeah, I'm a bit warm though. I'm, as I said, I'm really warm <laughs> and there's a lot of questions. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> At the end, there might just be a puddle. <laughs> so uh, this this video is going to be a couple of parts. This yes. is part one. Uh, we are in lockdown, um, and and our first question we've got questions down here, but our first question is from uh, Tom and Jane from Timo Sublin on Twitter, and they ask, "What are you doing to keep sane during lockdown?" Well, we're both still doing work. Monday to Friday, we're both working, so the ability yeah. to work from home. And that's quite weird because this is a small one bedroom flat. Literally, that's that. this is the flat and maybe a loo and kitchen. And a bedroom. And, and, <laughs> and a bedroom. Um, so it's very difficult working in a really small space, but yeah. I guess we're just adapting. Yeah, it's nice to have routine. Um, though it, this four day weekend has been really great and it's been really nice to just um, wake up at any time, go to bed at any time. Um, Although to be fair, I am going to bed late. It feels it's like 2am last night. It does feel like that weird bit between Christmas, that crimbo limbo where you can stay up and have, totally. yeah. I'm having cheese and biscuits at midnight just because I can. Um, we, on a Saturday, we've been doing Eurovision again, um, which was really, really great. And they're re-showing Eurovisions from years past and everyone's voting on Twitter. So if you've not taken part in that and you're a big fan of Eurovision, you should definitely do that. Um, the evenings are going really quick. Disney Plus has helped and YouTube has helped, definitely. Well, I find it odd that I feel like I've got less time when I'm not commuting and <laughs> I'm living and working at home than uh, before. And I think it's because we're trying to sort out grocery deliveries for parents, grocery yeah. deliveries for ourselves, um, yeah. talking to friends more on FaceTime. Yeah. Uh, we've still got vlogs to do um, yeah, and true. household chores. Uh, we've not been out of the house um, for about three weeks, I don't think. So uh, we're not doing the daily walk because we live in um, on the edge of zone one and we went to our local park. and. There's just so many people, you just can't avoid people. So we've decided that we're not gonna do that. We're gonna stay in the flat. We've got a bit of a balcony. We can get some fresh air if we need, but um, it's been crazy out there. So three weeks on lockdown. But I think we're coping well. Yeah, I mean, considering everyone's been doing, what well, at this point, three weeks, I think we should all be very yeah. proud of achieving three yeah. weeks. I mean, I'm trying to focus on what we've done rather than what may be coming ahead. I yeah. think that makes it easier. I think once a week I have a bit of a wobble yeah. Normally on a Thursday, the clapping for carers kind of makes me cry Yeah. every week and then I get, yeah. get a bit emotional. Then the reality of what's happening kind of kicks in. And definite big thank you to everyone who is still working. We know Lauren um, of Wonderworks, she's still teach. She's still going to school and teaching, working with the kids. Chris from Nibbles on Bubbles is key worker, still work, working, working in the store. Super, super I mean, there's so many of you. I mean, it's just, yeah. We're I'm, really grateful. I'm not complaining at staying at home. We actually do get on and it's kind of a dream. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> so, I've been practicing my whole life for this. <laughs> and, and staying home together, I mean, we get on and we, and we make each other laugh, yeah. which is good. So yeah, thanks for that question. So where else in the world would you like to travel to? This is also from Timo Sullivan. They sent us yeah. four questions. Yeah. Um, we were talking last night, you want to go to Germany, Switzerland, I've never been to Germany, and Switzerland. Denmark. Uh, Sweden. 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 Um, well, we, mostly... we were watching Eurovision last night and I was like, oh, man, who won in 2015. I was yes, like, so you cool particularly to want to go to Sweden. <laughs> yeah, uh, you want to go to Denmark probably because of Lego. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. We talked about doing that before. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we, we um, looked at how to do it. So I suspect that'll be a trip coming up at some point in the future. And Germany, you said you never really... I've never been, but I, I find it fascinating as a country and obviously it's got so much history. I think it'd be a really great place to visit. We've also obviously talked about doing Japan. I think if you're a Disney fan, 
you always talk about doing uh, Tokyo Disney, I think. I, I've been to Japan 20 years ago. Um, yeah, it's lovely. It it's, looks so it's, awesome. It's so bizarre having the mountains and countryside and then you get this real sci-fi, modernist, modern uh, quite take on things. It's weird. It's like, well, it's like it's a bit like Blade Runner in many ways. I absolutely loved it. The people were so friendly. The so, three so titties. Friendly. <laughs> what? In Blade Runner it was the three titties? No, that's Total Recall. Oh, is it? Oh. Sorry. Random. Uh, yeah, I really loved... Oh, yeah, I was there for my 30th Sorry. birthday. <laughs> so yeah, I was in Japan for my 30th birthday uh, uh, and went to the Fuji Rock Festival, which was... I didn't know. Which, did you not? No. Just never listen to a word I bloody <laughs> say. Yeah, I remember seeing Moby and uh, Chemical Brothers. Oh, who who's the best cook and what's your favourite meal? Um, I th I think we both try cooking, and I think we're quite good at. We both recipes. we both definitely do the eating part. We're definitely good at eating. <laughs> <laughs> um, we we're good at following a recipe. You're probably more creative, and you like throw random stuff into meals. Um, <laughs> Like what? Like you make like cottage pie and you're like just throwing random ingredients and herbs and stuff. Oh yeah, chilli, bit of garlic. I don't like just normal mints. Um, so I think we're, yeah, we're both pretty good at following recipes. Um, Favourite meal? Uh, I do like a roast dinner. Yeah. Um, Chicken nuggets. <laughs> Sorry. I like a really good lasagna. But we don't really have it because of I your lactose yeah, issue. So I when I um, have the opportunity for a lasagna, all oh my days, yeah, any good lasagna, I really love garlic bread, a bit of crunchy salad. Yeah. But not from Olive Garden because it smells of dairy. <laughs> I can't stand the smell no. of Olive Garden. Um, what are your most annoying to each other habits? Oh God, there's only question number four. What are you doing, Jane and Tom? You're trying to <laughs> cause an argument already. Uh, what are your most annoying to each other habits? I uh, think... Um, Oh, I know what mine is for you. Because um, I snore. Oh. I do snore. Oh, yeah. Is that what I don't is? really sleep, so... <laughs> I, don't, I don't get to sleep too late, so I don't... That doesn't so, really... So yours is, um, you've often made up your mind about something, and even though there's other ways of doing the same thing you've made your mind upon, you're quite fixed on an idea. Yeah. But I, I quite like it, because it's quite decisive, so it's quite nice. I'm, I'm well. very stubborn. Yeah, you are very stubborn. But I also like routine. I've got a lot of patience, so it, it does have well. a lot of patience. Goes well. It does have a lot of patience. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not the easiest person to get on with. But he's funny and he's lovable. What's mine? You don't do things my way. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not true. Um, I do because there's no other option. <laughs> no, I mean I, I am going to flip it because you are the most patient person I know. Thanks. Um, David will get to a point where he will flip and then that's it, you'll be dead to him if you wind him up. But he, it takes a long, it takes a while to get there, but when he gets there, that's it, that's it. You're out. You're Cuts dead you to me. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, and, I, and I kind of admire that because... Well, life's too short to have people in your lives who don't make you happy. Oh, blimey. Okay. Right, let's move on. Uh, so Darren, Claire and Sophie from Free Big Kids on Twitter asked, what's your favourite off-site restaurant? That's easy for me. Bob Evans, um, it's like home, cooked food, it's warm, the staff are so friendly, they're always so interested in like where you've come from, they all stand and chat, the coffee's awesome, <sighs> pot roast, chicken noodle soup, Bob Evans. Um, yeah, I guess Bob oh, Evans, there's also, I mean I like a big Denny's, Denny's do the best chips. <sighs> They're big, fat, waffly Club sandwiches. I mean, they're like the chips are massive. I'm not we'll sure. We're putting a picture of Denny's food here. How, yeah. how big are the potatoes they must get to <laughs> get those waffle fries from? <laughs> and chicken noodle soup. Chicken noodle soup in America, I love anywhere. We've been trying to find a recipe for chicken noodle soup and where to get the thick noodles from. So if you do know the answer to that, let us know. Yeah, we can't um, get them in Target. But if you go to the Bob Evans website, it says use a stick of butter. <laughs> not great for Dairy Boy. Well, um, let's just go. You can use goat. If you could pick the perfect part day for each other, what would be the plan? And again, that's from three big kids. Perfect part day. Mine, um, it's, it's never around a particular park, I don't think. The perfect part day is the fact that we're together. We do make each other laugh quite a lot, which I think is quite sweet. Um, like, I, we're in lockdown, but I can spend every day and all day with you. And you just make me chuckle all day. So the perfect part day is being together 
maybe not in August because <laughs> it's so hot um, <laughs> but Hollywood Studios is a real favourite I love the architecture in that park oh god yeah um, and uh, Magic Kingdom obviously is really really cool California Adventure in Disneyland Park in mm. Anaheim that is is just a wonderful park and a great experience but a just one day one park that's what I'm asking one day one park Hollywood well, Studios you for me for you, Hollywood Studios, because we'd go and have fried chicken in 50s Primetime Diner, we'd have drinks in Brown Derby, we'd do Slinky Dog, we'd do Smuggler's Run, you'd cry at Millennium Falcon, I'd buy Disney pins. Yeah, I mean, I feel, I feel like you just described your own perfect day. <laughs> Should we move on? Um, I'm not sure if that answers your question, but um, if not, we'll do this again and we'll try and think about it. So, um, how do you pronounce that? Welly101. That's it. Jay Roxburgh Hollingsworth. Hi, from, Jay. From Twitter. Hello. Thanks for all your comments. You're, you're always uh, interactive. We really appreciate it. Who's the best at driving Miss Daisy? Well, well, this is this is where it's a bit odd because David's got his dodgy foot. So yeah. David tries to steer and I'm the one with the foot on the pedal. So we kind of... <laughs> it kind of describes our lives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 100%. I always break a bit too late. Um, that ride is weird. It's just, it's like, we always ride it at that, the, the trough bit of the, the day where you've been like, go, 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 and suddenly you just want to chill out. And you just get on there and it's just a laugh and it's just so surreal. And it, we always break down, like, I don't... We don't break down, we're just fat. So we <laughs> can't get up the hills. <laughs> It takes a lot more effort these days than it did. The worst was Disneyland ago. Paris, I think, and um, we got stuck <laughs> anywhere, so we didn't go anywhere. Yeah, but well, there's so a massive bad. queue of people behind us. It was so bad. Um, but yeah, that, driving Miss Daisy. And there's a que another question from Jay from uh, Facebook. What animals are you most like, and what are your favourite animals? I'm a total cat person. Yeah, um, I met David. He had the cat, Ollie. Yeah, he's um, really cute. Who is on the back of the sofa? Yeah, he's in a box. In a box. Yeah, he's no longer with us, bless him. Um, um, and I, at that point, up to that point, I'd always had dogs growing up, and my parents have still got a dog. So cats and dogs are. Uh, yeah, I became a cat person as well as a dog person. What animals am I? Are we like? I Pop, think I sloth. Think... Yeah. <laughs> sloth and a pig. Um, we're pretty like we're pretty steady. We don't rush anywhere. We're, we're normally quite, we take it easy. Yeah, don't like being late though. No, but we leave early, so we're pretty good at that. Yeah, as um, you might have seen on many a vlog with uh, airports well early. <laughs> um, theme Park Baza Barry Lynch from Twitter asks, how did you two meet? Well, I think this question appears quite a few times because I've copied all the questions into a Word document. Oh, we're going to change it every time we answer. <laughs> so we, we met online um, probably about 10 years ago now. It's 10 years in May. 10 years well, actually, in no, it's May. 10 years now. Yeah. It's this time, yeah. 10 years ago, um, that we met in May. And at the time, I'd sort of come up to the end of a relationship. You had as well. And we were sort of taking our first steps into dating again, I think. And uh, we met online on a dating website. Um, took us a few months to sort of uh, um, get together. He didn't, like me. he didn't like me to start with. <laughs> That's not true. It took me a while to woo him. Um, yeah, well, I was like, like I say, we're coming out of relationships and oh, it's that messy period. This, this is rebound for like 10 years. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is news. <laughs> no, it's not. Um, you just meet someone, you just know. And, um, we just, I did. He didn't. We just get along so, so well. And um, yeah, I love it. I love you as well. It's just great. Oh, I love him too. And the second part of uh, Baz's, Barry Lynch's question is, why did you start vlogging? We went to Disneyland Paris in 2016. And I was really miffed that my iPhone didn't really film fireworks. Mm. Uh, and everyone, had, everyone had Samsung. Samsung. <laughs> so look at that, that was amazing. <laughs> and I thought, well, next time we go to Disney, I definitely want to film something. Because, I mean, our parents live miles away. We don't, um, yeah, we yeah. don't see them very often. Yeah. Um, so it's easier to also show them what we've done. Um, so when we were going to Florida for Walt Disney World in 2017? 15 2018, was that first time. 
and then the, when did we go? 2018. Yeah. So when we go back in 2018, we were obviously using YouTube and many of the lovely uh, bloggers that everyone knows and also who have submitted questions uh, uh, we're, who we're fans of, we started watching them. And then we thought, yeah. you know what, if we're going to get some footage, maybe we should give it a go. Uh, if only to show my parents. Uh, so we thought, yeah, we thought it'd be it. funny. <laughs> like we thought it'd be quite funny to do, and um, yeah, I, I never remember. I, I'm so, my memory is awful. I can never remember what we got up to any time. Someone said, like, "Tell what you did on your holiday." I'm like, you know, no. what? I don't know. I did stuff. I have yeah. no idea. Like one of the biggest rewards of vlogging is the editing process, and you get to watch all that footage back, and you get to see like. Oh my gosh, we had that meal, or we had that drink, and it was so great. And you, you, there are all the things you forget, and and when you watch it back, and then you re laugh at things which you found funny the first time, which is quite cool as well. Oh, the camera just went off, so it completely threw me. <laughs> the camera, crap. we think the camera does up to a certain amount of time and then cuts out, so there might be a few strange edits. We'll try and hide them with photographs. <laughs> we also got, we've also got a GoPro over here, <laughs> yeah, just in case. Put it back up, right? Um. So I think that's why we started vlogging. Why was that then? To record our memories and, and just because we thought it would be a laugh and and it was totally out of our comfort zone. Um, Still is. Re recording and doing stuff like this, it was not in our comfort zone. But um, we we both I, I enjoy talking to camera now, I think, and recording what's happening. I don't know. I, the you way don't stop we... talking to camera. <laughs> Which the weird thing is, we're both introverts. Yeah, uh, we're both really shy, and I talk very quick, and I stumble over my words. Uh, so, vlogging has been really useful because um, it's always useful to see yourself through other people's eyes. And I've learned many things doing this. Like I can't tell a story that's very interesting. <laughs> uh, I'm very wordy. In the first series, <laughs> which you wouldn't have seen, there were these really long stories of about five minutes. And I bought a bit, like, a bit like this video. Yeah. <laughs> and they were just so long. I was like, I was stop the middle. And I'm like, oh my God, is that what it sounds like? So I think it's very useful to, to, to see how other people see you. So I've learned that and I've tried to make changes in my life to accommodate Aww. that and be less of a dullard. What I think vlogging has given also is like confidence and not really caring about particularly what you look like, obviously. Um, but it just gives you, you see yourself very differently after you've done a few videos and actually it's not about what you look like, it's about what you're doing and about what you're saying. Um, and I think that's given me a lot more confidence. Should we do the next question? Next question is quite strange. Um, this is yes, let's do the next question. <laughs> apparently, that's a bit wrong. Um, Prebuilt Dave, uh, David from Twitter asks, "Hello, you. Hello, you. What footwear do you wear in the park? I always uh, wear Vans. Um, always Vans. Um, the Vans cushy ones. They're, they're been released over last year. They're so comfortable. Um, I'm an Adidas boy. I'm wearing Adidas Cloud Foam trainers because mm. then when they're, when they're new, it is like walking on air and." Uh, yeah, comfort all the way. I don't understand how people get away with sandals or flip-flops. I don't know how you do it. I can't, work and, can't wear a flip-flop to save my life. I can always get that rubbing between your toes. <laughs> Mine would fall off on a ride as well. <laughs> <laughs> and also, flip-flops in those toilets. <laughs> okay. Uh, green Grill from Oz. Oh, it's Tracy. Green Girl. Green Sorry. Girl. Green Grill? That sounds well grim. Sorry, Tracy. Green Girl from Oz. Tracy I'm Armstrong. A... Sorry. Green Girl from Oz, Tracy asks from Twitter, what's your favourite park? That's tough, that's really hard. No, Magic Kingdom. Is it? Oh. Mm. Yeah, it, it has to be, isn't it? And I think we take it for granted sometimes, but yeah, Magic Kingdom, and then Hollywood Studios, California Adventure, they're our top parts, I think. Uh, Hollywood Studios architecture is wonderful, and it's got Slinky. Mm. Um, Epcot, I, as a kid, I always wanted to go to Epcot. We never went, we didn't go overseas holidays, which I'm absolutely fine with, uh, so that's why it makes it more exciting now. Um, but because of um, Spaceship Earth, that just being yeah. so iconic, yeah, really sweet. wanted to go. Um, but I feel that Epcot for us has not been good, mostly because, which would come onto your dodgy leg. Yeah, so it's not, it's not a really accessible park when you've got it's, it's a lot of walking, issues. yeah, and it takes a long time to get from one place to another, like, it's a long distance. And there's so much concrete, it's, <laughs> it's so hot, because we only ever go in the summer, or times when it's not 
yeah, it's decent it's be quite enough warm. weather that you don't sweat. So at Epcot, I like the idea of, um, I think once they've done the changes, I might have a different view. Animal Kingdom, it's just hot and steamy, isn't it? Yeah, it's so pretty, but... It's quite also, the, the, the downside for us, us is also it's really well, not really well, it's really spread out. Yeah. It takes a while to get like from Asia to Africa to Pandora and stuff, so... Uh, but we do enjoy it, it is stunning and it is oh, beautiful. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, like we'd never say no. Um, and we don't do, people have asked, we don't really do Universal, we did it. No, we don't. Back in 2015 where we didn't vlog and we, we went with friends to Florida for the yeah. first time, which is an amazing trip. Yeah, um, yeah, it really was. But we don't really do uh, Universal in Orlando, but we, you know, as you'd have seen, we love the one that's in Hollywood because it's got all the yeah. movie. And Gosh, the, the Hollywood one is so authentic. Like, it is, it's, there's film sets around you and people are filming real films and TV shows and you like, you walk past things and it's from an iconic film and it's just, yeah, it's so exciting. Like, that, that's... You really loved seeing Good Place, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. So Good Place is one of my favourite TV shows. It's on Netflix and it's, uh, yeah, being in the set. Just, yeah, it's dream come true. I mean, if you've not seen that episode, we'll stick a bit of footage in here when we, when we did the VIP tour and then we yeah. came off at the set of The Good Place. It's The Good Place. David loves this show. I do love this show. The show is amazing. Every orientation that they do happens right here. When uh, Chidi and Eleanor are talking to each other and Eleanor tells Chidi, hey, I'm not supposed to be here because I am a really bad person and I shouldn't be in the good place. It happened right over here at our yogurt, yogurt, hey, yogurt shop. Some railway stations over there. I take them to the, the bad place. Bad place. I love this show so much. <laughs> so the next question is your favorite resort. So I think for me, it has to be Coronado Springs at Walt Disney World. We've not really done any, um, we've only done two. So I think yeah. this is, the, our, we've, our knowledge for this is quite limited. Yeah. But we've been around other resorts, um, and the thing about Coronado Springs is it's quite adult or couple focused, I think, is it's a lot less family orientated as a resort. You've got the convention centre there, obviously. The bars are lovely. You've now got the massive tower. The, the tower is insane. Um, so beautiful. So mine's um, Coronado. Yeah, well, it has to be, because we've only been to Coronado and Pop to stay at. Coronado yeah. was wonderful. Uh, staying in the tower, because we had ants oh, in our room. That's insane. That's so nice, that You've room. Not, here's a bit of ant footage. <laughs> <laughs> not showing you ant footage. Oh, okay. Uh, the tower's <laughs> insane, and we thought we might go back there this year, but because last year, the prices for the tower were absolutely cheap. Cheap as chips. Yeah, yeah, they were. Soon after it opened, and then, some reason, over the course of last summer, the prices for 2021, oh. 2020, just shut up. Yeah, we couldn't. We, we so we we've got trips planned in May, which is obviously not happening now. No. Um, our May trip's been cancelled, and we have an August trip. Um, so August, we were gonna try and stay at Coronado Springs, but we, like Ian said, we couldn't get the room at the right price. It was so expensive. So um, our plan is to stay at Animal Kingdom Lodge. Um, so we have a room booked there for six nights, and then a villa for the second week. We so hope. We hoping that's gonna happen. We've never stayed there before. It's obviously a dream resort. It's so nice. But we'll wait and see. So the next question from Tracy is where you both were you both Disney fans before you met or did one brainwash the other? So for me growing up Disney was really important. I loved drawing and animation and all the books I had were about drawing. There's a picture of Mickey Mouse in my parents' living room which I drew in the early 90s and it's still there. Um, they, story. they took me to Disneyland Paris when I was a kid, I can remember bits of it. I remember the pirate ship and things like that. You were well um, spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we went on a coach, like it was a nightmare trip, but I just remember it just being so happy to be there. Um, so that was, was my first sort of things. I've always been a Disney fan. I've got numb bum, so give me one sec. I need to slightly readjust. There we go, that's better. Oh, no. I was so anti Disney in my 20s. And you're so grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the thing is, I've, I've got friends who I've known for 30 plus years, the friends who took us to Florida the first time in 2015, who, you know, they're not friends, they're family. Um, and they both separately used to go as kids and growing up with their families. Uh, and they, and, you know, in my 20s they would go and I was like, oh, you're going to Disneyland, or Disney World, rather. 
I think I said Disneyland because at the point I didn't know the difference. Anyway, so they went to Disney World a lot um, and I wasn't really that keen. We never really went to the cinema as kids, didn't see Disney films, only ones were on the telly. So I wasn't really fussed yeah. until 2015 and then... So I remember my dad coming home from like the supermarket with Basil the Great Master Detective on VHS and Little Mermaid on VHS and he'd put it on and we'd watch the films together. I remember the SO Garage tokens, you used to collect little tokens and you used to get Disney pins if you traded God, them in. I thought I was old. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think we we discovered a love of it together as well, haven't we? And it's very, like the trips are so special when we get to go, so. I remember when we went in 2015, I was a bit meh. And that was when they did the morning show outside the park where the train would come in. And I remember stood so, there with a crowd of people and our friends were there and they'd train him in and the characters got off singing good morning good morning did the whole routine and then i just like <laughs> <laughs> start crying and I, just, and I just at that point i was like I absolutely get it disney is so unapologetic about what they do and they yeah. just do it so well yeah if you're gonna do it just do it and that's and the just, moment that yeah. i think it changed for me completely and i'm like i get it i absolutely get this and i understand why other people have been doing this for years and i'm Sorry that I've not done it, so I need to catch up. So I think that's the end of our first part of our video. So um, we've, I think we've got for about 10 Three. questions. <laughs> um, but um, if you've enjoyed us answering some of your questions, please give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. And we've been practicing this, can you tell? We have not. <laughs> <laughs> um, and um, we'll answer the rest of the questions in the second part so we'll see you next time thanks for watching see you later bye